Oh, you're going to school. You're going to learn karate training. Wax on. Wax off. Hey. Hi ya. Hi ya. It's October 29th. It's Karate Kid season 2017, episode 9. Training day, baby. Now, about two weeks ago, my wife and I acquired a little pup, a little pooch. This is 11-month-old Harley, Harley G. <clears throat> and today is training day for this little munchkin. <laughs> Hi, you're going to school. You're going to learn karate training. Wax on. Wax off. Hi. Hiya. Hi. Hiya. You see, on this day in the Karate Kid story, this is the day that Daniel would meet up with Mr. Miyagi in the morning. They would go and confront John Kreese, the sensei of the Cobra Kai, and begin karate training. That's right. You're going to want your mama after training day. You're about to go to school, little girl. <laughs> You're going to go to school. <laughs> Fight club. She's like, what are you talking about? You're going to learn. You're going to start karate <laughs> training. Wax on. Wax off. Paint the fence up, down. Paint the house, side, side. Sand the floor, big circles. Breathe in through nose, out the mouth. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. So, this is not uncommon. Ah, karate training make you thirsty. Yes. Makes you thirsty. So today is October 29th, and in the film The Karate Kid, this is the day that Daniel LaRusso would wake up, meet Mr. Miyagi at the South Seas Apartments, and ride in Mr. Miyagi's truck down to the Cobra Kai Dojo to confront their sensei, John Kreese, and to help put an end to this uh, beatdown, this relentless beatdown that Daniel is, is uh, taking at the hands of the Cobra Kai. Now, I love how Daniel meets up with Miyagi in the morning. Miyagi asks Daniel if he can drive. He said, well, he's not very good at it. And uh, Miyagi says, me neither. And Daniel says, well, I don't have a license. And Miyagi says, me neither. I love that. And as they take off in that old 1940-something uh, pickup truck, uh, Daniel's having a tough time with that clutch, and he's just jerking back and forth. Uh, great scene. <laughs> Hi Harley, did you have a rough day, huh? Training day, baby. Training day. Let you down. So, Daniel and Mr. Miyagi head down to the Cobra Kai Dojo. And they walk in, and remember, this is Miyagi's first time experiencing this brand of karate. And so they walk in, uh, they're in the middle of their class, and uh, they just stand in the back. Meanwhile, John Kreese is uh, having his team or having his students go through drills. And uh, he's a hard nosed man. He's a Vietnam veteran, a Vietnam Army karate champion. And uh, he's a twisted dude. He's tough. And uh, he's tough on these kids. So uh, after their warm ups, Bobby Brown against, um, I think the guy's name was. Uh, Oh, I can't remember what his name was. But after a round of sparring, John Kreese has the guys line up. And as he's lecturing them, talking about how um, they do not train to be merciful there. Mercy is for the weak. Here on the street in competition, a man confronts you. He is the enemy. An enemy deserves no mercy. What is the problem, Mr. Lawrence? as uh, John Lawrence was distracted by Miyagi and Daniel. So after a brief conversation with Johnny and Sensei Kreese class, we have visitors fall in behind me. And so John Kreese and Lawrence approach and confront Miyagi and Daniel. And Kreese says, I understand that you've jumped some of my students last night. Miyagi says, afraid you have facts mixed up. Kreese says, why are you here, old man? 
Miyagi says, come, ask, leave boy alone. What's the matter? The boy can't take care of his own problems? One to one problem, yes. Five to one problem, too much ask anyone. So he says, is that what's bothering you? The odds. And no more fighting. He says, you don't come into my dojo and drop a challenge and leave, old man. Either you get your boy on the mat or you and I are going to have a serious problem. Miyagi replies, too much advantage, your dojo. And he says, well, name a place. Miyagi looks at the poster on the wall. Tournament. John Kreese laughs at him. He says, you've got real nerve, old man. Real nerve. He says, one more small request. Ask, leave boy alone for training. And uh, he says, you're a pushy little, aren't you? The edited version says, you're a pushy little guy, aren't you? <laughs> but I like that. I like that. So John Kreese tells his students no one touches the prima donna until the tournament. Is that understood? And the whole class, the Cobra Kai, shout, yes, sensei. So John Kreese approaches Miyagi and Daniel with one final dire warning. And he says, at the tournament, if you don't show, then it's open season on Daniel and on Mr. Miyagi. Miyagi bows in acknowledgement. Kreese bows. Miyagi grabs Daniel and they back out of the dojo. Out the door while the class watches on. Next scene, it's cut to the outside of the dojo. Daniel and Miyagi walking across the street to Miyagi's truck. And Daniel cannot believe it. I can't believe what you just got me into in there. And Miyagi says, what? He goes, uh, the tournament. And Miyagi says, I just saved you. Miyagi says, I just saved you three months beating. <laughs> Take a look at these pictures. These were taken in uh, 2013 when Kelly and I did our Karate Kid pilgrimage. Uh, these are the uh, photos from that location. And as you can see, not much has changed uh, there at that location except for the uh, signage on the facade of the building. But the layout, the interior, you can clearly see where all of these events took place. So as they drive to Mr. Miyagi's place, there's that beautiful uh, aerial shot, a uh, crane shot, if you will, of uh, Miyagi's landscape. He lives kind of in an, an industrial area, lots of oil tanks. A little side note about Mr. Miyagi's home. Uh, the location had been elusive to several fans for several years, and we kind of knew the general area. But uh, the house has since been torn down, and now it's a residential area. He says, Daniel says, this place reminds me of Newark. What are we going to do here? Miyagi says, begin training. Much work be done. Tournament here before you know it. And so uh, they get out of the truck, and Daniel says, do you really think I'm going to beat that guy? Miyagi says, no matter. If I could teach you attitude, rest in fist, stupid, but fact of life. I love Miyagi's wisdom. And so, Miyagi says, if I could teach you uh, to fight, then everyone, if you can make good fight and then earn respect, then nobody bother. And he says, yeah, well, they'll bury me where I fall. And he says, either way, problem solved. Wait here. So Miyagi has this, this, uh, this yard that's fenced in with all of these classic cars. And uh, the one that catches Daniel's eye is the the one that catches Daniel's eye is the 1948 Ford Super Deluxe. Look at that! Ba bam! Hot Wheels version. Look at that! This was a uh, birthday gift from good friends of mine, Daniel and Terry, uh, a few years back. They know what I like. If I can't have the real thing, at least I could have the miniature. But Daniel takes a liking to this car, and uh, Miyagi returns and uh, with, uh, with buckets, with car wax, with sponges, with towels. And um, he says, Daniel, must talk. They uh, bend down, and there's that great scene where Miyagi says, Daniel, walk on road, right? Walk right side, safe. Walk left side, safe. Walk middle, sooner or later, you get the just like grape. 
Here, your karate do same thing. Either your karate do yes or your karate do no. Your karate do guess so. Quack. Just like grape. You understand? Daniel says, I understand. Miyagi says, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. He goes, first, make sacred pact. And as he grabs the bandana and puts it around Daniel, he says, I promise to teach karate. That's my part. I say, you do. No question. Your part, learn karate. What I say, I say, you do. No question. Is that a deal? Daniel sticks his hand out and he says, deal. And Miyagi doesn't shake his hand, but gives him a wet sponge, a wet soapy sponge. And he says, first, wash all car, then wax. Daniel in disbelief, why do I have to wash the car? Ha! Ah, remember deal, no question. So uh, Daniel, still in disbelief, just kind of laughing about it, goes along with it. So Miyagi gives him those instructions, wax all, or wash all cars, then wax. Wax on, wax on. Wax off. Breathe in. Breathe out. So as Daniel begins to wash these cars, he yells at Mr. Miyagi as he walks off mysteriously. Hey, Mr. Miyagi, where'd all these cars come from? And as Miyagi's walking away, Detroit! <laughs> so nightfall happens. Daniel's waxing of the cars. Miyagi comes out there to correct him because he's not doing the circles. He goes, ah, 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 ah. Big circle, right hand, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, wax on, wax off, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. The night continues and Daniel finally is finished. He gives a little TLC, a little polish action to that 48 Ford. And he walks into Miyagi's house and he's, yo, Mr. Miyagi, I'm finished. You want to check these out? Mr. Miyagi, he's walking through the house and he can't find him. But finally, he turns that corner into Miyagi's bedroom. And off to the side, he sees Miyagi bowing down to his little Shinto shrine, if you will. I'm not quite sure what that is, but Miyagi is on knee in front of it. Candles are lit. And uh, he's in deep meditation. Miyagi being a spiritual man, a Buddhist. Daniel can't break him from his um, meditation, respects that, and uh, just kindly walks away. And that would complete day one of training day, baby. Hey, thank you for joining me on this Karate Kid Season 2017 journey. Be sure to subscribe, uh, throw a like, hit that thumbs up button share this video please leave me a comment i would love to read and respond to your comments but again thank you for joining me on this journey until next time rob g out wax on wax off wax on wax off big circles don't forget to breathe in through nose out the mouth You are very good, very good, Harley-san. Very good. Very good job. Mm -hmm.